Hey everybody, we're back here on Paragon, and this is the other deck I was talking about I was going to upload, it's big now. And we start off with Warlord, Cast Token, Guard Token, Health, Mana, Cast Word, and uh, Strike Token. You know, I said I was going to put a Cast Word in every deck, and I have not done that, but I need to start doing that to tell everybody just Scout Words for days. Just be like Oprah Winfrey, just put Scout Words in everybody's deck, just give them Scout Word. Because it's going to, it's very vital, it can help. Um, to the actual thing. This one I have multiple ones, health and mana always, but I don't use the mana as much, so that's just for situational really. But always health, I either go health, uh, strike, and uh, cast token for the beginning damage, or I go, uh, one of these doesn't really matter which one you pick, they do, you know, it's just damage, uh, overall damage. And then I go dart, uh, guard token. It really depends on what I have to do. If I have to offlane, well, that's also situational, because, like, there's been times I do this one right off the back with, if I'm going off lane, and then I do a damage card, or I go full health in my damage cards, etc., or scout's ward. It really depends who I'm going against, and if I feel like I need more damage towards them, or if I need more protection for myself, or if I, if I feel like I'm going to get ganked more going against that person, like, they're just waiting for me to push over, like, things like that, like, that's why I really, that's why this one, it's kind of hard to explain which one to pick first, because with Fang now, I really... It's situational on what I pick, uh, it all depends on who I'm going against and what I'm doing. If I'm jungling, if I'm safe planning, uh, if I have to off lane. I'm like, why are you safe learning with Fame now? You know what, I've had got some really shitty team comps before. Trust me, it has not been beautiful. I've been forced to go to mid before because people, the casters left mid and started jungling and there was nothing else I could do. You gotta love those matches. Now to the actual deck here. Uh, one of the starting off cards is gonna be, you know, give you some crit, and then you just do some damage into it, and nothing too special there. It's just a six drop. It's how I normally just get some crit in there, because uh, this damage is, I think a crit. Yeah, this is one of my crit damages, uh, crit builds for him. And we also it is life still with it, so some early on life still, of course, the iron. Uh, right on my iron eater and it's just another six drop nothing too special there yeah after you get the two six drops in uh we start building the blast harness and once you get that fully in you get your full crit bonus i'll go into actual getting another damage card in which would probably be my nitro nuke and after i get my nitro nuke in and you get that fully filled out i would uh delete, you know, probably this one or both of them, depending on how I feel, how I'm going in that game, and start going into this one. The reason why I did this one, because it also gets health regen, mana regen, like, yeah, you know, that's pretty good, but sometimes I'm really why I picked it. My main source, uh, was because of its unique passive, I still will overhaul, granting a shield that absorbs, uh, damage for three seconds, uh, three seconds, maximum 10% of uh, max health, uh, I can talk, I swear, but yeah, you can read, uh, Basically, I did it for the shield of the overhaul. I think it's really nice. Um, we just dropped the theory and you know two twos to make it a twelve. And that would be our crit card for that. Um, and then after you get that, and I'd start working on the rest of it. You know, getting I use that one as the very last card. You fill it out the impact hammer. It doesn't matter if you have like two micro nukes if you want two impact hammers. I don't have two of those, so I just had to do the impact hammer. And I do not know the difference between them. Basically, the same card. Um, so over here we have Brandon Iron Eaters, but I would do next, get your life still in there as uh, fast as possible, and then after, you know, you get that build out, like I said, I'll start working on your last damage card, and that would basically be your Fang Mount right there, um, how you would work that. I'm gonna see you guys do it differently, like these exits, just, I say how I do it, uh, how you would start out with, and what you wanna do is up to you. Really, um, what you want to switch around because you might not even use that, you might just use some of the things I use and make your own way of how you feel you should be. And that's what I try to do with these decks like, go what I will do. And if you guys want to mix it up, take shit out, replay shit, go, it's you know, go wild with it, have fun. Um, that's basically what MOBAs are here for. Uh, you know, just go have fun. It's sad to see, like. Sometimes I can understand the frustration when you get people, like we had, I had a team where we had a Howie that jungled the whole time, and trust me, it was frustrating, but I remember that it's supposed to be fun, you know, supposed to have fun with this game, and try to not get frustrated and all that, and that's what these decks are here to, hope you have fun, and I hope you guys do like these decks and enjoy them, I love them for you guys, uh, I don't know what character I'm doing next, I'm trying to figure out more deck ideas for multiple characters, uh, 
comment and let me know if you guys do want to see gameplay because I have been thinking about gameplay for all the characters too. But anyhow, that's that. Um, if you guys want to, I didn't put this in there. It could be useful if we go in for, you know, against ability people. That would uh, to have that in there also too because if you're offlane or something, you could run into somebody that does more ability damage than actual basic damage. You know, if they use your abilities more, so that like counters that would be a counter towards her too. So you can uh, get in her face and all that and not take all her damage from her abilities. In the very beginning, that'd be something. Or gadget, you know, one of the two. Anywho, and that is my deck for Fang Mao, though, that I redid. I hope you guys like it. Comment, uh, tell me what you guys think. Anything, I don't mind. Uh, these are the three decks I did. To repeat the ones I did today for everybody is Twin Blast, Gideon, and Fang Mao. And I hope you guys really like them.